Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel GC Marino TV For today's video guys, I'm gonna show you how to change the EPIRB hydrostatic release unit So, I received the new one here HRU This is for the replacement of our our old and to be expired hydrostatic release unit So before anything else guys, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you will be notified to our next videos. So first and foremost guys, we need to remove the e inside the shell. So this is our e -perb. This is our e guys. And then we're gonna remove the pin. We're gonna remove the pin. And then slowly open this one here. And we're gonna remove first our upper. So we'll take the upper, guys. Slowly. So we'll let it fill down. Okay. So we have to put this one on secured area, not to fill down. Okay, somewhere here. Okay. And then, so we have the spring here guys inside. We have the spring inside and then this lever arm is one. So. This is the old HRU unit and this is this, this will be expired next month so I need to change this one. And the first procedure is you need to push this one. You know you need to push this one guys because there is a spring here. Spring inside. You have to fully push this one. Push backward and push it backward and up. Because this round uh, plastic here is holding the EPIRB So if you're gonna put it back again Yeah and Then push and then push it down So it will be going inside So only like that guys Yeah So Okay We're gonna remove Again then push and then upwards then okay and we remove it from here so this is the old guys it's are you unit was removed then we just clean this one a little bit because it's very dusty then Put it here, guys. Just we'll do just a little bit cleaning. So everything is clean, guys. And then now we're, we're gonna install the new HRU or hydrostatic release unit. So we'll get this one. new HRU guys it doesn't indicate here which which date it will be expired but on the manual it, it should be two years after installation so two years after you install this new EPIRB so we're gonna mark here later on so we'll just cut the dates here okay so same same procedure guys we're gonna put inside the lever arm in the lever arm and then push backward so this should be the this should be facing downwards guys like this so name should be on upright position okay and then 
Okay, put it inside. And then same procedure. You have to push. Push all the way until the middle. Push all the way in the middle. Then it goes inside the circle and then push it down. Push it down. So it will be entered into the guide. Okay. That's it guys. That's it. So, so new HRU installed. That's how we installed the new hydrostatic release unit of FRP guys. So after that one, we will mark the expiration date here. To mark the expiration date, I will gonna use the cutter blade. So as per so as per manual instruction, guys, the expiration date will be two years from this installation period. So I installed January. So I will mark here also January. So I will cut here the January. Okay. So we'll mark the then peel it out. And that's it guys January okay and then so 2021 so 2023 the year of expiration So that's it guys, expiration date is January 23. So everything is installed guys, now we will put back the reverb unit. So I have the reverb unit here. This is for alerting. This is for alerting and provide positioning. We're gonna put it back into the securing shell. So same procedure, guys. Uh, on this type of paper, we were gonna put it sideways like this. Sideways, and then place first the bottom part. Please place the bottom part here. There is a guide here. It's like letter D, and he also here like this one D so like this guys so we're gonna put it like this bottom first and then push it inside then bend the bend the antenna guys so like this So new HRU, valid and okay, the perp is inside, during covering guys you have to, to do it on the bottom first, then follow the top and make sure that this one will go inside here on the hole, this part, yep, so this one and and then pin so that's it guys so job well done so how really the HRU works guys that's a good question how really the hydrostatic release unit work so this is how it works guys so when this hydrostatic release unit will be on and will be under the water of about three to four meters or less than four meters guys 
because of the pressure of the water guys that will enter inside these holes there is a cutting mechanism here that will disconnect this securing portion here guys inside so when this one is cut it off this one is, was cut it off guys with the use of the spring it will pushes this portion here with hydrostatic unit it will be pushed here outside together with the together with the cover so when that plastic will be dis disconnected it will cut it off it will it will by the use of the spring it will be pushed like this yeah because of the spring and then together with the refurb so it will be automatically it will be automatically be released so that that's how it works guys yeah so here cutting mechanism here disconnect this plastic securing here inside yep and with the use of the spring it will push it and then it will be pushed forward and cover will be released will be opened and hru will also be released because lever arm here will be also pushed by the spring here so that's how it works guys so that's how we change the new hydrostatic release unit of our firm so for the next vlog guys we're gonna try to open this hydrostatic release unit and we will check what's inside just subscribe guys and hope to see you again in the next videos bye